Hey there folks, Luke here with the Outdoor Gear Review. Hope you're all doing well. Today for this episode, I am showing off something very rare indeed. Let me go ahead and do a 360 here and I'll tell you what it is. Does this pack look familiar? This is basically a civilized version of the United States Marine Corps ILBE rucksack. This is called the Tango. It was developed and produced by Arteryx. Let me do a 360 one more time. Go ahead and get comfortable guys. Let's take a look at it now. So like I said, this is the Arteryx Tango Pack and basically this is a civilian version of the ILBE United States Marine Corps rucksack. Now I say civilian, but really with the LEAF program from Arteryx, they are not meant to be purchased by individuals like myself. You can't just go to their website and purchase this. You have to have somebody who's in the armed forces. Arteryx actually has a list of rules to be able to buy a LEAF product. So uh, according to their website, of course LEAF stands for Law Enforcement and Armed Forces. Only those who are active duty service personnel and units can buy this. Law enforcement can buy this. Uh, you have to be an officer or work at a specific agency. Basically, you have to be a government personnel. You have to be a company or an individual working on a government contract. Uh, says here that EMTs, first responders, search and rescue, firefighters, and other countries and regions are not allowed to purchase these. So, there you go. Pretty interesting. Now, let me tell you guys, this pack right here is a rarity. It has been discontinued. I don't know how long it was made for. I don't know how many were sold. But you will not find these typically by going to eBay or a military surplus site and doing a search. They are super duper rare. And I have to say guys that I was not able to find one of these and purchase it myself. But I had a viewer who contacted me who offered to give me this pack. Which I appreciate guys because it's super awesome. I definitely love this stuff. He wasn't really in the position to use this pack anymore, so, uh, you know, I offered to buy it, turn me down, send it to me, you know, to the individual. I want to say thank you very much. Super awesome. Now, when it comes to the civilian version of the ILBE pack, there are actually two different versions. This is the Tango pack, and there is also a pack called the Echo. The Echo Pack is a smaller, thinner version of this, which I will show off to you guys into the future. But right now, we're going to focus on the big boy, the Tango. Okay, so we're going to look at the front here and just do a 360. Of course, you have Arteryx here on the front. Tons of Molly and Pals webbing. And basically, you'll see that this is almost the same design as the ILBE. There are some slight differences. I'll grab one of those packs before this video is over for you. You do have the lid right here. On top of the lid, you do have the PALS webbing. Going over to the side here. And of course, you do have buckles to attach the Charlie pack, the assault pack, if you happen to have one, which I do not. You do have the compression straps, but only three compression straps on this pack, whereas the ILBE had four, actually. You do have that elastic pocket on both sides down at the bottom. You do have a zipper that will unzip the pack all the way down. That's on both sides as well. Of course, the other side is no different. Down here at the bottom, you do have more buckles, more cordage. You can attach whatever you need to on the outside. Here on the back, you basically have the same sort of padded hip belt with buckle, the same sort of lumbar support that's attached with Velcro. Basically, it's almost the same, guys. You have this sternum strap, it's adjustable. You have the same quick release, drag handle. You do not have those two uh, grab handles on the side of the pack, which I, I would like to have seen stay, to be honest with you. In the lid, you actually have an additional pocket, which wasn't featured on the ILBE pack. Taking a look here, at the top of this pack, on the inside of the lid, there is no longer a zippered pocket that has been moved to the back side. You have the same compression strapping. You also have the same draw cord right here. I have found a couple pillows. And as you can see there, that is a very good size rucksack. 
Those are some pretty good pillows that I've crammed inside of this. Now, on the inside, there is absolutely nothing to it. It is just a gigantic rucksack. There's no sleeves, no dividers, no pockets. There's no place for a hydration bladder. Nothing, just a straight up pocket. Grab the camera here and go in for a quick look. And hopefully you can see that. And it is just a big pocket. Nothing else in there. All right, so here we go. We're taking a look at the two packs. You have the Tango pack here. You have the ILBE pack right here. And this is the military version. This is the civilian uh, version. And the first thing that you notice, of course, is that the camo patterns are different. This is crocodile in color, which is kind of like a coyote, brown, green, kind of mixed together sort of thing. I really like that, actually. The lids, naturally, are just a little bit different. This one has a pocket on the inside. That one has a pocket on the outside. The ILBE has that front little flap here so you can stow your gear and let it dry off. That one does not. And I'm sure that actually had another purpose. Maybe to hold something else, I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it was for the, uh, the assault pack. It all kind of goes together, which I've never actually put it all together. So uh, I'm sure some of you guys know more about that stuff than I do. Another thing I'm sure that you notice is that the strapage has been toned down just a little bit on the civilian model. Definitely less of it. This pack is crazy when it comes to straps. There are straps just everywhere on this pack. They both have that side entrance on both sides. Like I said here, this version has four compression straps, whereas this version only has one, two, and three. Taking a look here at the back, you have basically the same padding, the same sort of suspension system as you can see there. I mean, it's almost identical. Very little difference. Now, as far as materials go, these packs are very similar. This is a Kedora 725 fabric. The buckles are ITW Healy Text. The others are actually Nexus buckles, but they're still made by ITW, so very similar still. Definitely not bad. Now, so what is the price of these packs? Uh, you know, that's a good question, and who knows, to be honest with you. Since they are so rare, so hard to find, I'm going to guess that you're going to pay between $400 to $800 for one of these packs if you can find them. I did a little bit of searching around and I found just a, a few offers for sale here and there that have already been completed, but the packs sold for over $600. Bucks. So, yeah, who knows? Good luck to you if you're interested in finding one. This is definitely a rarity. Tons of Pals and Molly webbing. You do have those little zippered rubbered pulls, which I like. They're a little bit shorter than the other military version, but definitely functional. You can easily grab these with gloves on. Now, space-wise, this is roughly 95 liters worth of space if you're going to maximize it completely. I mean, you can tell there. Look at the size of that thing. It is humongous. These packs were based on Arterix Bora 95 line of civilian packs. Not too shabby. I definitely like the civilian version of this, the toned down colors. So for our look at the Arteric Tango pack, that's pretty much it. If you guys are interested in finding one of these, I definitely wish you luck. Again, I have to say thank you to the individual who sent this in. You are awesome. Thank you so much. I plan on using this definitely on some overnight trips. You guys will be seeing this in the future. So uh, again, thank you very much. In the future, you will also be seeing the smaller version, the Echo pack which is also fairly rare to find. Not quite as rare as this one, but definitely rare still. So if you guys have any questions for me, please feel free. Let me know, do my best to address them for you. Make sure to check out our Facebook page, the website, you'll find links down below in the description box. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll definitely see you guys around. Everybody, take care.